This is quite... Yeah. <clears throat> Hi guys and gals, um, hope you're well. This is just a quick 5 minute video, I'm not going to take talk long. 5 10 minute, ah, 5 10 minute video, it's going to be, this, this is just a 5 10 minute video. Um, I'm literally uh, just trying to go through, it, go through with it at the moment. Anyway, what you see here, I cannot see the screen. <laughs> I cannot see the screen. Um, yeah, so it might be too much light actually. I'm gonna bear with me for five minutes, a few minutes, a few minutes. Oh, okay, that's better. Um, yeah, I'll be five, ten minutes, hopefully. What it is is that, um, I got something ghosty. Okay, um, so what it is is that, um, hmm, um, yeah, it's ain't working, um, sort of working, but not quite. Um, look, I'm just gonna do the obvious, right? So what is that? You know what the video is called, and I'll repeat it again. It's how to stop vomiting forever. Um, I'm doing this video because it's, I'm actually, it's, happening, it's actually happening right now. That's why I thought I'd do this quick video because I've literally just sussed it out. And um, God actually had to, um, the Lord had to actually um, put me in this position so I can actually teach other people because, you know, like with everybody else, they have to learn. You have to learn from um this is a bit of lighting. They have to learn from scratch. You have to learn from scratch and um sorry, like like sorry, lo not a lot of people like learning. And um sorry, not not learning, a lot of people don't like changes. Um so with that because people don't like changes, um they um they sort of like rebel and rebel and rebel until they notice everyone's changing everything and 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 until people start to say it's a good thing, it's a good thing. It's just it's that rebellion in us that that makes us say, you know, we don't want to change, you know, because change change is really a threat to our bodies. It's a threat to humanity. It's a threat to everything. So people don't like changes. So so that's what I'm trying to say. Um, let me show you live, you know. Anyway, so yeah, that's what's happening. Um. But to cure um vomiting is basically um is really the, is really salt is the answer salt. Now, when I say salt here, I don't mean like gulps it all in one go and like drink it like water. I'm talking like one bit at a time. You got to figure it out yourself. But you know where it's you, the limit is. What the limit is here is 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 what like like is like what it says on NHS. Um, they say I think it says said it's um. How many grams? It's it's basically one teaspoon. It's one teaspoon. It's one teaspoon which equals five grams a day. It, it basically equals one teaspoon, one full teaspoon, one full teaspoon of um, one full teaspoon of um, of salt is what you, is what you need a day, a day. But if you have too much salt, it makes your heart, your hands swell up, your feet swell up, and other and I think head your head swell up as well. Other part, yeah, it makes you swell up. Now, <clears throat> that's what that's what happens when you have too much salt. So you literally got to monitor this yourself, and you will know when you feel sick. You know when you feel sick, but it's different for a man and it's different for a lady. A lady, ladies, I'm sorry, you have to figure it out yourself. I'm so sorry. You have to talk to other ladies that know about vomiting, but you literally got to figure it out yourself. I'm really, really sorry. If I know, if I knew how it is, then I would do it. Next, when I when I've got a, when I get to get to know a lady personally, then I'll tell you how it's actually down. I'll do one I'll do one for the ladies, specifically for the ladies. But for the man, this is gonna be a bit graphic here. So what time is it? It's like it's gone eleven PM. It's nearly twelve midnight. So I'll say it yeah. What it is is yeah for a man for a man yeah when a man is about to when he might when a man needs salt, the first thing that goes, the first the very first thing, the very first signal is mainly the testicle starts to move. You feel the testicles move. When the testicle moves, 
that's your that's your pinpoint and your 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 height your your, your that's your pinpoint and that's not, that's not that, that's not just your pinpoint that's your main signal to say I need salt and when you get salt yeah when you when you're about to have salt you don't need to have it only one gulp so you need to have it a bit at a time bit at a time bit at a time and on after and on on that and after that every time you need to take it again anytime you feel unwell or anytime your testicles start moving you need to you need to actually um have it again and again and again and again and you need to keep having it and keep having it anytime your testicles start to move when your testicles start to move that's when you need to start having it and when it stops moving just just have one just when you have when it okay when the testicles moves moves you have one you have one one touch and it, and then when you, I'll show you how to do it in a minute you have one touch and when you have that one touch you actually um rub it underneath I, I personally rub it um underneath my underneath my on on the on the roof of my gum because my gum is swollen that helps with with swollen swollen gum and malt malt and bonja and it and it prevents because because normally the reverse the reverse the mouth mouth ulcers is actually bonjella that revert that that using salt reverses preserves your your gum and it stops it from swelling out and going all meaty all sort of meaty kind of thing now um yeah that's that's that so anytime you feel the testicles moving at moving as a man you need to actually have one one touch just go just touch just do this do this to your lips and then touch it with your lip touch the salt with your lips you need to put it in some some sort of concealed container concealed container and touch it with your lips when you touch it with your lips you bring it in and you moisten it with your lips and saliva just lips and saliva that's it don't have no food with it don't have it with, with food don't have it with nothing just, it's just salt on its own it's just salt on its own you have it and you 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 sweet you you as a practice you touch it at the top of your gum you play around with it and you you keep washing it washing it you keep swilling it you keep rubbing it rubbing it and massaging it in above the above the gum uh, on the roof of the gum when when, when that's done you keep doing it 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 until until your mouth is full enough to actually swallow until you think you think it's the right time to swallow that's only if you you only swill it in for that long if you if you have a swollen gum if you don't have a swollen gum just as soon as you get to get to liquidize, as soon as you get liquid liquidize, as soon as it gets liquidized, then just um swallow it, and then your body will take care of the rest. Now, um, this is just yeah, this is for a man, but a lady can still do this step. Ladies can still do this step, but 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 the the bit I can't tell is is that what what happens. What what happens for a lady? I don't know if if it's downstairs, if it's if it's still the same downstairs. You know the the, the the vagina part. The vaginal part. I'm not sure if it's if it's the same downstairs or if it's your the, the tip the tip of your breast. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's your body, your whole body type, or you just you your or you just generally don't feel unwell. But when your stomach starts playing around, when, you, when your stomach when your stomach doesn't feel right, you need to grab salt. When your stomach does not feel right, and when you, especially when you get a belly ache, when you get a belly ache, you need to you need to you need to grab salt. And do and and carry on with it with your diet. When you have when you have dinner, when 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 you have when you when, you, when your body starts to, to start to behave normally, back to normal, you need to actually um. You need to have you need to have it like um like God was direct like Jesus was directing me. You need to have it like one before before dinner or before any kind of meal. But you have it before you have just you have it just before you have a meal and after you have a meal. So you you open it with a meal and you close it with a meal. And then you can either drink water after that, or drink your drink, or whatever drink you have. You can drink whatever drink you want, whatever drink you want after that. But when you start eating, when you're just about to start eating, you have one one bit of it, one bit of it, one bit of salt on its own in your mouth. And then at the end of the at the end of the meal, you have you have um a bit of salt at the end. When you finish your meal, you're, when you when you when you're full and you and you finish eating, you have you have a little bit of salt again. You, you touch the salt again on the lip, on the lip of your on the lip on the lip or whatever in your mouth and then you, you you swallow it and then you have your drink or whatever you want to have afterwards if you don't want to drink don't drink or but whatever whatever happens you got to have it at the start and at the end that's just when you, when you when you that's when you know that you only start to do you only start to do that when you know your body's back on back on back on routine when your body's back back to normal you see the thing is as well i was unwell for about two days and I, it started on a friday and i was wondering what was going on and I know I wasn't having any salt anyway, and I, what happened what I mean was I, I carried I had I had the salt, I had the salt, I started to have I, had, I started to have the salt, and I've been constantly having the salt every every single day, 
every every single minute, every single hour, every time it was happening, it was constantly happening, constantly happening. And now I'm still I'm gonna just about to have one one last one till I have a bit of water. But I'm not sure if I want to eat at the moment. But I'm just gonna see see. I feel my my, my I'm not gonna lie to you, but I feel my testicles moving at the moment. My I feel my testicles moving at the moment. So I need to be quick with this video, a little bit quicker with this video. So um, so yeah, that's literally it. Um, so so I was yeah, so I was constantly having it because I need I was constantly having it the reason I was constantly having it because I went too long without any salt too long without any salt because I was going because because this is because this is what happens here you go to the toilet three times and when you pass when you pass three times not even three times three times three times going to the toilet is not really good but you got to monitor it yourself you got to see how you go but I'm just 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 giving you giving this to you as a tip a free tip so yeah yeah that's literally that's literally um I know I'm talking too fast as well probably we can play this video again and just see how I explain it and stuff like that. But the ultimate thing is, it's salt. Salt, salt is to stop vomiting. It's any salt you want, but try and make it like the finest possible. But salt, the number number one thing to stop vomiting forever is salt. And on top of that, the person that told me that after I after I had um, bear with me, yeah, bear with me. After I had this, after I had this, and I told the doctors here, yeah, I told the doctors here, yeah, what else can I, what else can I have after it, after this? Cause I, said, I said to the doctors, I said to the doctors, um, there, there were, there were, um, certain, what, okay, the doctor said, yeah, I, I said to the doctors, every time I, every time I have this, yeah, every time I have this, yeah, I seem to get me back to normal, and then after that, it keeps, it keeps happening, and because, because it, on the package it says. If it, if this keeps keeps continually happening, you need to consult your doctors or your GP. So it kept on happening, and I asked the doctors what was going on. The doctor said you need to have you need to try and have salt anytime it happens. Anytime it happens, have salt because I got this from the doctors directly from the doctors, and I'm spreading it to you just to save you just to save you time, and just to save you bombarding the doctors in the A and E departments and and like Halloween and all kind of stuff. And by the way, this only happens. In in winter time, this should only happen in winter time. In the summer time, it's perfectly fine, but in the winter time, it's 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 really really bad. Now, um, if it happens in the if it happens in the summer time, if it happens in the summer time or spring or a hot hot season, just just do what I've just just do what I've told you. Just do exactly what I've told you throughout the year. If you have to do it every if you have to do it every if if you have to do if you have to do it every year, every single day, every single day, every year, then go for it. Why not? Or just monitor and ask your doctor as well. Tell, talk to your doctors about this as well. Do talk to your doctors about this. Do definitely talk to your doctors about this. So, so you not you not just listen to my my opinion. You need to consult your doctors as well. You must consult your doctors about these things. Anyway, guys, God bless you. Um. Oh. One minute. Sorry. So yeah, um, before I take it in the salt, I'm gonna say you know this is gonna be a standard uniform now for just for this, just for 2020. I need to change it because it absolutely. I need to I need to give it a wash because it absolutely stinks. <clears throat> I'm telling you now, it stinks. But um, this is this is the uh, this is the um, this is the, yeah that's what I'm trying to say yeah this is the um, this is the the, the this is my uniform for 2020. It's just something that God has directed me to do, so um, I'm calling. I'm coming all out now, so I'm not no longer hiding in the in the um cave. <laughs> so guys, God bless you. Take care and peace. As always, um, I pray for you as well. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy, Christ. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father, for your grace and mercy, in Christ Jesus. Pray heal us right now, Father, in Jesus' name. Pray help us to understand what has been said to us, Father, in Jesus, in this, in Jesus' name. We pray for Jesus Christ on the Pray not to fall upon the situation. Pray grace and mercy will rest on us, O Lord. Pray meet with us at a point of need, O God. Pray help us, Father. Help, help pray people. Pray we, we pray for people right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name for healing and restoration. We 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 pray, Father, for people to understand this, Father, and to and to, to to take this seriously. Because this, these things, this, this can actually um, take people's life. And um, Father, as I go forth, guide me and um, guide me as, as you, as you, as I do your work, Father. We pray this and declare this right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. Guys, girls, men, women, 
ladies and gentlemen I'm out and before I go the p p the pizzi 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 I can't even say it the pizza what's it called you know something bon appetit because I can't I can't think of the word I used to be able to say it but I can't say it now look let me show you so this is the salt yeah you see I'll put it in a Holland and Barrett um container we can use any container you want yeah I use it in this con tiny con tiny con tiny container so I, I pop it open yeah look I pop it open my mouth is dry as well anyway because I think it's pretty good of the salt so what I do is I got this mm -hmm. And I swallow. When you first do it, you're yeah, the very first time. You're not gonna like it. Your body's not gonna like it. And I don't know if your body's gonna do all sorts of funny things, but when you first do it, yeah, your body's not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it. Trust me, because it's unusual to your body. But like I said, you're not gonna like it. You're literally not gonna like it. But you know, that's how it goes, bro. Anyway, guys, gals. I'll talk to you soon. Peace, yeah? Jesus loves you. Ciao. And I'm hungry. <laughs> I am hungry.